Hey everyone, and welcome back to Cocktail Cards. Today is Cinco de Mayo, so of course we're going to show you how to make the classic margarita. So the tools you're going to need to make a margarita, you're going to need your shaker, a pint glass, a strainer, you're going to need a juicer, a jigger so we can measure out our ingredients, and we're going to go ahead and serve this in a traditional margarita glass. You can also just use a rocks glass as well. For the ingredients, we're going to have tequila. We're gonna need an orange liqueur, so we're gonna go with triple sec for this one. Uh, we're gonna use fresh lime juice, and we're also going to use fresh lemon juice. And uh, lastly, we're also gonna throw a splash of simple syrup in there. And then of course, we need some salt for the garnish, as the margarita is known for. So in order to build out this drink, we're gonna grab our pint glass and let's go ahead and start by adding in two ounces of tequila. And next we're gonna throw in one ounce of triple sec. All right, next we're gonna add the citrus to the margarita. Now you could just do one ounce of lime juice and it's still extremely delicious, but throughout my tons of times of making this drink, I realized that if you actually add a little bit of lemon juice, it just balances out the drink a little bit more. So first we're gonna add three quarters of an ounce of fresh lime juice. And next we're gonna throw in one quarter of an ounce of fresh lemon juice. And then to balance out this whole drink, I like to throw in one quarter of an ounce of simple syrup. And next we're gonna add ice to our margarita. Now, at this point you can do one of two things. So obviously you can add ice and shake it like a normal margarita, or you can add ice to this glass and just take the whole thing and toss it in a blender and you can have a blended margarita as well. However, I like mine on the rocks, so we're gonna go ahead and add ice and shake it up for about eight to 10 seconds. All right, next we're gonna add salt to the rim of our glass. So what we're gonna do is take a nice lime wedge here, which we'll also use as a garnish, and we're just gonna cut a nice little slit right in the middle there. And we can take this lime and just run it around half of the rim of the glass. If you wanna do the full rim, that's fine. I like to just do half in case you're not really a salt on the rim drinker here. Next, we're gonna grab a plate with some salt on it. We will take our glass and we'll just run the rim through the salt here and we'll get a nice little salt rim. Give it a little tap for any, any extras there. All right, you wanna make sure to try and keep the salt on the outside of the glass too. You don't want too much salt getting into your drink. Go ahead and put some more ice in your glass here and go ahead and strain your margarita into the glass. All right, take that lime wedge and throw it on there for a garnish. And there you have it, the classic margarita. Mm. So delicious. There's a reason why this is one of the most popular drinks in the world. It's balanced so well, citrus forward. And I'm telling you, just adding a little bit of lemon to this drink really helps balance it out with that little extra simple syrup that we throw in at the end as well. It makes it so well balanced, such a delicious drink. And uh, definitely, definitely a fan favorite, especially with Cinco de Mayo today. So make some margaritas, have fun, and enjoy this recipe.
And there you have it guys, the classic margarita. If you found this recipe fun and helpful, make sure you give us a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe for future videos. We'll be putting out over a hundred different recipes on this channel. And if you guys want a chance to win a free set of cocktail cards, make sure you click the first link in the, in the description. We'll be giving away a free set of cocktail cards each and every month. So you're not gonna wanna miss that as well. My name's AJ with Cocktail Cards. We'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.